Let's say you, a modern human, time traveled to 1 million years ago. 1 million years ago, there was no electricity, no buildings, no internet, and no modern medicine. One has to wonder, could you survive? Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions. I'm Charlotte Dobre. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let us know in the comments below what topics you would like to see next. To understand if a modern day human could survive 1 million years ago, we would have to examine what the Earth was like 1 million years ago. Earth 1 million years ago was in the middle of the Pleistocene epoch, also known as the Great Great Ice Age, and it lasted 2.6 million to approximately 11,000 years ago. This means that the Earth was definitely colder than it is now, 5 to 10 degrees colder to be exact. So the ability to make a fire would be necessary to keep warm, provide light, and also cook meat. One million years ago, thousands of miles of the Earth was covered in tundra. You would also need fire to keep away predators. One thing that modern humans don't really have to worry about is predators. And if much of the Earth were covered in tundra, there wouldn't be too many places to hide. Early humans were in constant competition with with carnivores for food. Competing carnivores at the time were large, saber-toothed animals like the Smilodon. Smilodons were saber-toothed cats that were about 4 feet in length. One million years ago, depending on where you were on Earth, there were also terror birds. And yes, they were as scary as they sound. Terror birds were gigantic, predatory birds that could grow to be 10 feet tall. And they ran. They could run up to 30 miles an hour and few herbivores could escape them. You would have to find a way to hunt as well as protect yourself from these animals. And that means creating weapons by hand. If you couldn't hunt, you would have to scavenge and maybe be okay with eating a lion's leftover carcass. That being said, there were early humans around 1 million years ago. Maybe your best chance of survival would be to find them and learn how they live. A 1.2 million year old jawbone was found in Spain. Early humans had begun to spread from Africa to Europe and Asia, meaning if you went back 1 million years, it is possible you could come into contact with them. So you would probably have a better chance of survival if you bonded with early humans, who at the time just gained their ability to control fire. The ability to control fire was a major turning point in human evolution. According to Harvard anthropologist Richard Wrangham, cooking allowed our ancestors to evolve larger, more calorie hungry brains and bodies, and smaller guts suited for more easily digested cooked food. Sitting around a fire and cooking meat became an essential part of early human life. That being said, it would be pretty hard to find early humans 1 million years ago. At the time, our ancestors were making their way away from Africa to Europe and Asia. The global human population was no more than 26,000. There are fewer gorillas in the wild right now than there were humans 1 million years ago. Plus, who's to say early humans would have wanted to share their campfire with you? Maybe you would have had to compete with them for food and territory. At least they would see it that way. You would not really be able to communicate with early humans to tell them that you weren't going to steal their food or compete with their alphas for the right to mate. And lastly, on top of all of this, you would have to worry about not getting sick, not getting injured, and personal hygiene. One million years ago, there was no such thing as medicine. Our early ancestors lived to be around 30 to 40. There were diseases. Malaria was already around, so was tuberculosis and leprosy. Considering all of this, a lack of modern medicine, having to compete with predators, the dangers of becoming prey yourself, and also needing to stay warm during an ice age, it's not likely a modern day human could survive 1 million years ago for very long. Okay, maybe Coyote Peterson from Brave Wilderness could. If you enjoyed that video, you should also check out What If You Were The Last Human On Earth. Or check out our playlist Biggest What Ifs. Don't forget to click the bell so you never miss an upload. That is all for now, and thanks for watching LBQ.